Just a spectacular Saturday, the 1st of February here in Seattle. Nightfall settling in, and we're getting set for the Cougars and the Huskies, no matter what the sport. It's a fabulous rivalry. Tonight, Pac-12 basketball presented by Paycor, a sold-out Alaska Airlines Arena for the 298th all-time meeting, the seventh most played rivalry. They'll close in on 300. The Cougs have had the better of things lately, winning six of the last eight, and Washington State's January has put them in position in early February to be in the running for madness. The Huskies would love to be in that mix as well, hence the importance of tonight's game. Sold out, atmosphere expected to be terrific, and the icing on the cake. Bill Walton's here. We'll be back with lineups and tip. Yeah, a great adventure coming up. Hey, Alaska Airlines Arena sold out tonight. A beautiful, glorious Saturday in Seattle. And as nightfall descends, basketball time, rivalry game. And it's all presented to you by Paycor. The Cougs and the Huskies, no matter what the sport, as we say about all the great rivalries in this conference, it's fabulous and what a scene tonight. Sold out in Alaska Airlines Arena. Bill Walton is here. The first basketball meeting of the year between these teams. Here's, look at you smiling. I'm just Love so it. happy. Yeah. <laughs> it's such a beautiful day. Above us only sky. This magnificent region of the earth with Puget Sound and all the mountains, the rainforest leading over into the deserts of eastern Washington. And these two teams are just fantastic. They have contrasting styles, but they're both in great position to move strongly toward Las Vegas and the Conference of Champions, the Conference of Champions, the greatest conference of all conferences is yes. in the history of conferences. And we're ready to go with yes. this crowd tonight. Right. It's, a, it's Mike Hopkins carrying it over from Bayhawk. Never right. did it in Syracuse. At Syracuse and the day of game practices is something of, it's just about 50 years old. Throw it down yeah. one time, Isaac Jones. That's how you start a game. Yes, which is what makes this matchup amazing. It, it's that, a flip flop. It's exactly that what, what Mike Hopkins, he's playing almost all man this year. Whoa. And Rice hits the runner back against Wheeler. What a run. The, and this explosive start here is what you're looking for when you're playing on the road. Corin Johnson is medically clear. He went through pregame tonight. Mike Hopkins was not unsure if he'd play. Well, Mike Hopkins told us in his office just before the game that, he, look, if you don't practice, you can't really play in the games. Although, that didn't apply to Charles Barkley. <laughs> <laughs> and if the first well, that's ball, good. we'll tell that story. That's a good one. Look at Rice. Man, Rice. Beautiful. Man, this transition. Bill, I'm, not, I'm excited for you to see him again tonight because the last time we saw him, he had a magnificent show at Stanford. There are so many great young guards in the Conference of Champions. Absolutely spectacular start. Mike Hopkins could not believe it. Are we staying here or are we going to commercial break? We have a team timeout and called by the Huskies after the 8-2 start for the Cougs. If you're interested in the stats, but this guy right here, my goodness. Yes, Isaac Jones mm -hmm. answering. Well, you have Isaac Jones' excellence inside this year. Keep your eye on Jalen Wells, one of my favorite players in the Conference of Champions. Wells wearing zero for the Cougs, and there's Rice. Look at this guy, Rice. And a little it's signal to the easy. side as number two hit two. Yeah, I think he was asking Deldre yeah. to you know, yeah. put him on the line there. Woof, woof. Give that guy an extra treat. Well, how about that? The Cougs have hit every shot so far, and now Rice will try the three and make it seven for seven to start the night. What is the Conference of Champions record for most consecutive shots made to start a game? This great pressure defense by the yeah. Washington Huskies. Late clock, so it has to be Wells and scores it. So Jalen Wells, who's just a phenomenal player. Yaki, who's just so physically fit, just from one of the most beautiful parts of the world. Kriva Palanka, northeastern North Macedonia. Rice. Oh, look at Rice. 11 points already for Miles Rice. George Raveling, the beloved Hall of Fame uh. coach from Washington State, 11 years there. He was the first one to ever coin the phrase Conference of Champions. Yes. In the you early said that 70s. Good for him. Written documentation of, uh, documentation, excuse me, of when he was recruiting players because, you know, it's different world technology wise back there. So he would 
write letters to him. They were typed, and he would sign them, explaining, please come to Pullman, Washington State. Pac-8 at the time. We are the Conference of Champions. Thank you, George. We love you. And they love you in the Palouse as well, Coach. Now, there's the Steve. Look at Wheeler. Yeah. That's the Steve yes. Nash yep. Grand Circle route. <laughs> And Yakimovsky, whoa, yeah, with the high arc. A sense of where you are. Have you had the chance to see the new Bill Bradley movie? I yet? can't Don't wait. I know you've sent it to me. Thank you, and I haven't yeah. watched yet. I watched it last night and this morning. Ted, it's changed my life. We talked about the points in the paint at the beginning. Nine field goals in the paint already for the Huskies. There's Jalen Wells again. Beautiful. Nice score. Wait a minute. I'm trying to remember. You was it you who told me that offense wins? Offense wins. Yeah, the uh, you did, you the, did tell me the that. Team yes. with the Look most at the scoring wins. <laughs> Look at the 70 years ago. My goodness, such a developed physical specimen. The Cougars need a okay. score and they get one. That was Finally. eight straight points for the Huskies. We did that okay, about now, noon today. has got to get yeah. going down low. He's got Wheeler. Takes him right in. And scores over him. So Winsu's from France. And Washington State's in the mix. Well, it, they are an NCAA tournament team. I mean, it's they are really, really good. They're not playing great right now. They started the game yeah. great. But they've got great players. And the thing about Washington State, their players are lead players. Two of them. And they can each carry the team through the whole game. Talk about something living up to Conference of Champions. The women's basketball in this league is yes. just spectacular. Yakimovsky hits it. By the way, Cameron Brink herself last night had 19 points, 15 rebounds, and eight blocks. North Carolina was was ahead by 10 most of the way. I don't know what the final was. Fortunately, we got a great crew here that just told us North Carolina did win. Or give the ball to Isaac Wood. Jones, please. And they get it to Clough. He's got that foul line shot. What is Winsu doing? Traveling violation ignored. Here's Wheeler. This is where he's so good in transition. Oh, picked! And then Rice. That's double dribble. That's an interesting call, and Rice doesn't get it, but the tip is from Winsu. Winsu finally makes a play. Tony Parker celebrating. The get movie a... is produced by the NBA, and Dr. J wrote the book himself. So, and it's just the classiest, nicest person ever. Wow. This guy here. How about that? Rice, he's, he's, he's an NBA yeah, player. You see that? He put the brakes on, and the D, he let Corin Johnson, who's in the game, on a skid right by him. And Corin Johnson is an athletic marvel in yeah. his own right. Zone defense here. And you got Winsu up at the point there playing the Matisse Thibel role with those long arms. But get a rebound here. Wow. Oh, and the and Isaac Jones saves the day. Breidenbach thought he had a clean putback, and then Keon Brooks is called for the foul. Okay, so the guy you got to get the ball to is Miles Price. He's in the far corner. Yeah. Keep your eye on him. He's going he's gonna to come off a double screen. Yep. Can Yaki pass the ball? <laughs> Deep three. Oh! And look at the Not too deep. People. Oh Skopje, North Macedonia. <laughs> Cheers. Riva Palanca. Have you ever been there? <laughs> no. Uh, one of the most beautiful natural areas, cultural history. Man. Beautiful exchange Man. there. Oscar Clough, give him a lot of credit there. I'm surprised Yaki at, didn't just throw it right off the defender's back and have it yeah. come his own way. Look at Miles Rice's reaction. <laughs> there. Oh my God. That's about 30 footer, and Yakimovsky knocks it down. His first and only made three of the half. The Cougars were briefly down 11. They go off the floor, up four. Fortunately, they got a great trainer in Leary Jones, just his third year in Pullman. Their strength and conditioning coach, Zach Margolis, is just superb. Jalen Wells has got to just torch. He's going at Mulcahy. He goes right at him and Good. scores. And that's the patience that Raymond Townsend was working on with Jalen Wells. Seesaw battle back and forth. Moses Wood from Reno. This is his fourth college. Tulane, UNLV. Something must be wrong with Isaac Jones. I don't even see him on the bench over there. Well, Isaac Jones on the floor. And he, he was overconfident there. He was Wheeler. Oh, send it back. That's Jones on the block. Space Rice, two on one. Jones to finish. 
Hey, Kyle Smith, let it go, Kyle. Brooks back quickly. And Brooks Whoa. will get to the line. He went right into three guys. And the Cougar bench is irate. No foul on their play. And Brooks will get to the line at the other. Xavier Wheeler getting it sent back and kept in play beautifully. I don't think that's a foul. No. I don't think. He, he just held on to the rim to stop his momentum and keep from breaking his spine. And when they figure that stuff out, that's meaningful. <laughs> Bluff scores. Bluff, best play of the night yeah. for him. Maybe best play of the season. That book was given to me as a gift from Tim Boyle, president of Columbia Sportswear, who constantly has given me incredible books and reading material, besides all the phenomenal Columbia product. Thank you, Tim. Oh, the yes. official and power partner of the Pac-12 is Oscar Clough scores. <laughs> The Cougars are not doing a good job of defending that zone at high post, particularly because Keon Brooks is trying to get there and handle every one of them. And Oscar Clough is just torching them. And the way that Kyle Smith is going to just pound that paint. Look at him. Yeah, there he goes. Dance along the sets up Clough for 17. Oh, had, it all, had it all the way. Okay, I'm calling for it right now. David Feldman, we need a Clough Elvis package, please. <laughs> Have you seen the Elvis movie? Pullman is very close to opening up their new airport terminal. <laughs> Man, well, that was the best news we heard today from Jim Crow. With four nonstop flights a day from Pullman to Seattle. Nice. Okay. Yakimovsky. Well, he made the deep one to finish the first half. That's his third three. What a great game here tonight. This is going to overtime. We can only hope. So when they get him up in the air like that, run a give and go. But you have to have somebody who's coming to the ball to receive. There you go. Wincy swung it nicely. And then Rice got down the lane. Great, play. great pass. Isaac Jones. <laughs> So Isaac Jones' mom is a pastor. Warriors become the king of their business success, and the Golden State Warriors now the most valuable franchise in terms of franchise valuation. That built Chase Center. That is that. Just think about that comment in the league with right. the Celtics, the Knicks, and the Lakers. Okay, right. and those were always the number yeah. one team, and now it's the Golden State Warriors. And, Joe Lakin and Peter Gruber couldn't be happier or more proud. Look Isaac Jones turned quickly to before the double got there, and he turned to the baseline. Because Kyle Smith, he likes to play inside, inside out. This is where it's got to happen. Oh and Jones God. with a pretty spin. That is just fantastic. Our country's most topographically prominent mountain, and the giant snow and ice mass on that has more snow and ice than all the other Cascade Volcanoes combined. And with Wheeler playing better in the second half, also Miles Rice has not scored. Well, the productivity for the Cougars has been Isaac Jones and Oscar Clough. They need that and they get it. Jalen Wells. He was a big time scorer at Sonoma State. The Cougars have not played with their starting lineup, with their best lineup enough. They've tried to get something out of Chinyelu and Winsu, and that, that hasn't been the case tonight. There's what the, a ball fake. Wow. Oh my look God. at that. The reverse <laughs> spin. Oh, right into a double and still scored to Jones. It's a week where there's only one game. Great rebound by Jalen Wells. So both teams, guys, figure to have a little bit more leg for the Saturday game. Please, Ted. They're, they're 18 and 19. I Oscar Clough. That's the sunshine right there. Oscar oh, Clough God. has 12, and the Cougs are back within one. Three oh. retired numbers here. Brandon Roy, Bobby Hoobregs from the 50s in their final four team. Great All-America player. Throw it down. Nice job by Rice to set up Jones. And we're going to hit the two-minute mark here in a one-point game. Now, there's no two-minute warning and stop at the ball, yeah. right? No. <laughs> Why do they have the two-minute warning in football? Don't For a TV have... timeout. Oh, okay. Yeah. Shocked. The crowd is just so supportive here. They want nothing more. And Mike Hopkins to get a big victory here. It has not gone well in this head-to-head -head state rivalry. Wells. Look at Whoa. that. Up and under Whoa. by Jalen Wells. And the Cougs answer. Shades of Raymond Townsend. Timeout. Washington State took a timeout after the make. The body language of 
Savir Wheeler is superb. I mean, he's playing, looking, acting like a champ. He's looking like, like Mahomes, Patrick Mahomes for the Chiefs. Oh! As he throws it out of bounds. Wow. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, Mahomes throws a pick once in a while, too. But now the Cougs have a chance but, in a game where they should have two more possessions if Washington State converts in yeah. great a shape. When you watch sports today, there's all these incredible winners of the genetic lottery. And then there's Patrick Holmes, who comes out there. And now here we here have Severe Wheeler. These guys who you would not pick out of a crowd. Here we go in the last minute. Jones. Pace, change your direction. Yes. Me is waiting for him inside. A lot of dribbling. Jones Great. losing it. Great Kicking defense. it out. Got to clear the lane to the Cougs. They do. Give Rice go in here. trouble. Brooks again. He stopped the entire possession. Boy, great defense for Washington. Wells will have to shoot it. And oh. Wells with two on the shot clock. Jalen Wells puts the Cougars in front. But, but why would Kyle Smith call a timeout there? You're ahead. Why give the other team a chance to set up offensively? Well, I mean, Bill, that was, you that hit was, it. That was an excellent defensive stand by the Huskies, and Wells just beat it. Wherever the ball went, Keon Brooks was right there. I don't understand the rule in college basketball that allows the defense to call timeout. After a make, yeah. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of rules I don't understand, but I'm with you on that. So I'm not alone. No, I don't. I don't. <laughs> this, the rules in this sport? Anyway, um, so the situation now is Washington State is no more timeouts. So plenty of time. No. I don't understand why they don't put rebounders up there for the Huskies. Whoa, oh, he missed. missed. So now let's see where the Cougars two. go. Rice. Rice Throw sets up Jones who dunks overtime. 4.1, still enough time for the Huskies. Pressure the ball, don't let Wheeler get a run at you. Wheeler running start, Wheeler stumbling, throwing it up, and Bill Walton's wish comes true. We wow. have overtime. I think that shot might have been blocked by Jay Mullins, the Snoqualmie native. One thing that's coming into play right now is we're into overtime, maybe going for two, which is fine with me is that the Cougars are scheduled to fly home tonight from Seattle to Pullman. And the last flight of the night on Alaskan Airlines to Pullman. <laughs> what happens if this game keeps going and the flight leaves without it? I don't but, think that'll but, happen. Brooks, yeah. Brooks smacks the ball. By the way, that, since I, I, they I, probably have 30 seats I, on the plane. Does, did Mike Hopkins ever work for Red Auerbach? The way that ball sticking in the net under <laughs> That's a Red Auerbach trick, isn't it? Yes, it is. <laughs> and they would change the nets at halftime for the other end of the court. <laughs> Two minutes tied up. They're double teaming Oscar Clough. Miles Rice! And he looks first the point since the first half. <laughs> Cougars up three. Uh, they were yelling at him, and he just turned and looked right back. Fortunately, he didn't do what Caleb Love did the other day down in Eugene. That was uh, unbecoming of that great champion, Caleb Love. Got himself a technical. Actually, I found out he didn't. It was not on him. The TV was wrong on that. Wow. Really? Yeah. It was uh, Keisha Johnson. I stand I, corrected. Well, I did too. I, I asked that same question Thursday night because I wanted to know what he said, and they told me it wasn't on him. Now the Huskies get the edge back. Wheeler going, and he skids. Oh, what a And steal. it's taken by Yakubowski. With the ball now. Reminder that Miles Rice, four fouls on Wheeler, so Wheeler can go right by Winsu on the change. Great defense now, by Wheeler. Wheeler has, to, Wheeler has to kick the ball out now. There's too much time gone. Brooks missing. Yakubowski with the ball. It's Jump held. Ball. Ball. It's held. And the possession will come back and give Washington one more chance. And they, Moses Wood is the guy I'm looking for yep, here. There he is up top with Yakubowski on him. No time was added. Point four. The, the Cougars can foul, though, to deny the three-point shot. But just don't foul the three-point exactly. shooter. Exactly. Isaac Jones high above. And it's Brooks. No, no foul. Washington State wins.
and the Cougars' dominance over the Huskies continues. That's seven and two over the last nine games, all in the Kyle Smith era. And the last points of this game were scored on Miles Rice's three-pointer with a minute 54 to play. No points after that. He started the game. Yeah. He finished the game. And, we, and, and left a lot to be desired in between with the exception of incredible ball handling. And I'll tell you this. And look, we're not, we're not living in a cave here. Emotions are a little raw in this rivalry because of what's happening in college athletics. Well, you know how good I'm watching the Cougar fans here. They're 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 loving this, and it's just reality. I so. love the emotional aspect. Yeah, of exactly. Yeah. Well, Miles Rice made the great assist to force overtime, and then his basket winds up winning it. We saw the incredible display of talent. Of, of, of a creative, imaginative mind in this land of innovation here. And the ability to set up his teammates, make them better, knock down shots. He wasn't playing that well to look, stare down the crowd after he hits what turned out to be the game winner. And these guys, they won't need that plane to get no, home. That's right. What an incredible victory. Heartbreaking for the Huskies, but just exuberance for all the Cougars. And the Cougars on their way to the NCAA tournament and for the first time in 16 years. Cougars over celebrating with their fans. Isaac Jones ends up with 20 and 7. Keon Brooks, a career. Keon Brooks was just marvelous. Just Mar marvelous. Fantastic yeah. game for Keon Brooks. Yeah. The best I've ever seen him play. And the competitive leadership that Keon Brooks was able to show tonight. I mean, this, this was a showdown. Both teams came, delivered, and as in the sports, somebody and, has to win. And, and tonight, the, the and Cougars they are still celebrating. The Cougars are still celebrating. Yeah. Miles Rice, that's his mom. Mom came to the game. And just how happy they all and, are. And now the Cougar fans are letting it be heard. And again, this is just reality. It's, it's uh, none of these people on the court were responsible for. Their bed was made by others, but <laughs> they're living in it. And man, it's it's raw. Worry about the things you can't exactly. control. Exactly. <laughs> and I gotta say, this was a terrific basketball game, Bill. It was, it was phenomenal. One of, the atmosphere here, terrific. The fans, great. And uh, the game was terrific.